well hello and welcome to my channel age is just a number and my name is Barbara Jean this is a channel for women over 40 50 60 70 and beyond who have a love of fashion and beauty and it's all about beauty today because I was online looking at makeup trends and you know I, I love makeup um, and I like to stay on top of what is going on and look at new techniques. I did take a class last year that uh, and became a certified makeup artist and on the online makeup academy. And so I've just really kind of gotten into learning some more um, information about about it. So I was reading about um, the runway trends. Uh, in I think it was Vogue magazine and they were talking about the makeup trends that they used for the spring um, 2023 runways and oh my goodness there was quite a few of the trends but um, one of them intrigued me and it is called the laminated skin trend now apparently this has been all over TikTok well I don't TikTok for obvious reasons. I don't want the CCP having more information than they probably already do about me. So I don't do it. Um, but when I was doing a search to dive more into it, um, there was a YouTuber, uh, her video came up and uh, Ellie, let's see, Ellie, Leary Artistry. She is a beautiful makeup artist and I will link her video down below. But she was doing this look about the laminated skin and the dewiness. Now what he was saying in the um, in the in the article um, about it was dewy skin, um, almost like a sweaty skin. And it was a way of having your skin look more moisturized and flawless and it just intrigued me but there was another trend also on there that was mentioned in the list of the uh in this article and it was the 80s rosy makeup trend so i thought i would give it a whirl and combine the two trends and see what I could come up with because when she did it on her video, of course she's in, you know, she's, hers was over 40s. Now, I don't know exactly how old she is, but I believe she is in her 40s. I could be her mother because yes, I am this close to 65. So um, yeah, but her hers was very beautiful. But I tell you what, here's what I, I came up with. So if you want to see how I got this laminated skin look and the rosy makeup for combining the two trends from the spring runway 2023. Stay put and we'll get started on it right away. All right, so we're going to get started here. But first, I want to uh, go over what uh, I've used before this. And really quick, I'm going to use my Lumify uh, eye drops. This is a must, especially in the allergy season. So, which for me is 24/7. <laughs> 12 out of 12 months. So um, what I did uh, after I got out of the shower, let's let's back up. <sighs> to get the most glow out of my skin, um, okay, I just washed my face this morning and then I sat in front of the red light therapy for about 15 minutes while I was having a cup of coffee. And then I... Um, before I got into the shower, uh, and I use this a couple of times a week, two to three times a week. This is the Il Milkiage, and it's called the Power Polish. 
and uh, it says it's the anti-aging skin renewing exfoliating treatment I really like this it is a very mild um, granular bit you filled the little bits for the exfoliating so you put a little bit on and I um, you know work it in circular motions into my skin but then after I've done that I let it sit on there for about 10-15 minutes and then I get into the shower and then when I'm in the shower I get a little bit more of that moisture from the, the water and then I exfoliate again with it and keep adding water until it's all gone so when I get out of the shower then my face is just all the blood has come to the surface because I've been doing the exfoliating process and so at that point the number one thing that I do after that is I add some niacinamide and I'm a firm believer in niacinamide I take 500 milligrams twice a day as well it's uh, great for uh, your skin your dermatologist uh, will tell you especially if um, if you have been treated for any type of precancerous things or cancerous uh, lesions on, on your face I haven't but Patrick has so got it for him and then uh, I see the same dermatologist for my eczema and stuff and she said yeah it's good for everybody so I take that um, as well twice a day but I'm a firm believer in niacinamide I just happen to have the Polish choice one and this is a 20% niacinamide and then I like to let that sit on there for a few minutes while I'm you know putting the different products in my hair um, and stuff so then after that and, and also while that is is waiting I will do my um, lash treatment which is the Revita lash which has really really helped my lashes since I have been taking this and y'all know I'm an affiliate for that if you have used my link thank you so much for that because I really believe in this stuff it has really done a great job for me so uh, but then what I do because I've got all of you know I have done the niacinamide which is almost a, like an oil base you don't need that very much so now um, what I'm going to go in is with a moisturizer and actually what I'm using for the moisturizer is right here I'm sorry I'm trying to reach for it it is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost so we're just trying to put as much moisture into the skin as possible so I'm going to take a little bit of that and then and I'm just going to place it into my skin as well too now and you can see the more that I touch my skin the redder that it gets but it's just because it's been so exfoliated and um, it's just coming alive there so really quick what I'm going to do here is another product that I'm absolutely in love with these days and it is the Merit Beauty's um, um, it's called Great Skin it is Instant Glow Serum so I'm going to take one pump of that into my hand and it splashes and then I just kind of like to warm it up a little bit and then I'm going to press this into my face as well so now what we're going to do is I would like to let these process kind of and sit on my skin so with the magic of YouTube and time I'm going to come back in a minute and get uh, and, and then we'll start with the other process but I want to let this kind of set and soak in for a minute but before I forget it what I want to do as well too is I want my lips to be nice and moisturized and plump so I use the city lips you know I'm a big fan of that as well too and then while I'm doing that let's just go ahead and get this process out of the way I'm going to use my eye 
Revive Firming Serum for under my eyes and let that be sitting as well too. So we'll do that really quick. I take one little dot, place it with each other, and then I'm just going to kind of go along there. All right, so I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes and then we'll come right back. All right, I have let that sit on there and my skin feels very, very moisturized right now. And that is the, the, the whole premise of this, moisturize, moisturize and dewy. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Max Fix Plus. And y'all, if you've seen me, you know that I do this a lot. In my lifetime, I'm not sure how many I have gone through these. <laughs> but this one happens to be the Fix uh, Plus Coconut. And it's a soothing moisture mist that refreshes the skin. So what we're going to do, and we're going to do this several times through the process. But I just, what I just used was the Merit um, Great Skin. I'm going to set that aside. Um... I'm going to spray this all right so as that is drying I'm going to set it aside over here and then I'm going to tell you uh, about some other things that other pro uh, other things that I'm going to be doing here so the primer that uh, I'm going to be doing when this is done here is going to be my um, El Maquillage skin and this is called the Power Lift. And it is an anti-aging collagen boost priming and plumping cream. Vegan collagen, retinol. Um, and it is it's wonderful stuff. I tell you what, it feels so good going on. <laughs> but it is a light blue gel. Very light blue. And the packaging, this glass packaging is awesome. It's beautiful here. And it comes with the little silver scooper. So as that is drying here, I guess I could have turned my little fan on. Let's see. I need to get me one of those little fans. I bought debutante one, and I guess I probably need one too. <laughs> so I'm just going to use the little scoop, and I'm just going to get out just a little bit. And so this is going to be the primer. So, and it just... It just feels so luxurious. I mean, luxurious. So, I'm even going to put just a little bit on the eyelids because I'm going to use some color correcting on that here in a little bit. So, there. And I even like to put, because it's so soft, I like to put it on the back of my hands as well, too. So, all right. So as that's going on, what we're going to do is I'm going to get the foundation out here. Now, the foundation I'm going to be using is my favorite uh, Il Maquillage, uh, Woke Up Like This. And I'm going to add a little bit of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Luminix into it because we want this dewy, glowy look. So, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on the back of my hand. I'm going to get my makeup brush, which is I'm going to use the favorite, which is BK Beauties uh, 101, the slanted brush that is just, the foundation brush is just awesome. All right, so what we're going to do here, and I don't have my glass. You know, I had one of those little glass things and, you know, palettes, and I don't know what happened to it. I may have to order another one. So, I'm just going to take, now this is the shade 010 and woke up like this. And it is a very pale, because I haven't, as you can tell, I haven't started doing my uh, spray tanning yet. So, I'm going to take one pump of it. And there it is. It's kind of a thick consistency. It doesn't It's not too thick, but it doesn't just run. It's not a serum foundation. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this. And add it together. 
and then I'm just going to mix it out my hand here and I'm doing this while the Max Fix Plus is sitting here. Now, I like to do, a lot of people just put it all over their face at one time. I like to do one section at a time, um, that way because it doesn't sit and dry, especially if I'm talking, So, which takes me a little bit longer. All right, so the foundation is, is done. I've gone in now and I have used my Maybelline um, Age Rewinder in the um, the pink on my lids to kind of to color correct that. And then I've used, I put a couple of dots of the Neutrogena uh, Radiant Cream Concealer, and this is in Ivory. Taking my, and, and I've just done that just in the, in, in the corner of there. So I'm not using a whole bunch. And this is the Angie Hot and Flashy by BK Beauty A506, the famous little concealer brush that everybody loves so much. And ladies, if you don't have this, <laughs> why not? <laughs> so, all right, I'm just going to take that into the corner and I'm just kind of lightly pressing that in and then working out there like that. And I'm going to go back and do the same eye right there. Now, the thing is with this, we're not using powder. So, I'm going to show you what though we're doing. And I'm not using a lot because I don't have a lot of um, I don't, dark circles or at all or discoloration, just kind of there in the inner corner a little bit right there. So that's pretty much a blank con uh, uh, canvas. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in with the MAC Fix Plus, the moisturizing spray. All right, so we're now ready to start with some cream products. We're going to start with the cream bronzer. And I'm going to be using my Chanel uh, cream bronzer. And I'm going to be using, let me get the right one here, the BK Beauty 109, which is the smaller, it, it's kind of like, if the foundation brush, I think this was, I think they had used this uh, analogy. The best foundation brush, the 101, if that one, and then the A506 concealer brush, if they had a baby, this is what it would be because it has got that slanted shape on it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do cream products to help keep the dewiness going here. So I'm just going to dip into the uh, Chanel and what I'm going to do is I'm just pushing it in and then I'm going to kind of buff it out a little bit. See what I'm saying? Or see what I'm doing? Not saying, you can hear me. So If you're scared of bronzers a little bit, this is a really nice one. It's an investment, but it will last forever. So, but you just see how that just blends out and looks effortlessly. So, I'm going to do the other side. Here, I'm going to start up here. I'm just going to do it up here too and then kind of do the other side. But this little brush is great for cream bronzers and blushes. The bronzer is done, and I tell you what, between the brush and this bronzer, you can't go wrong. So we're going to continue on with a little bit of cream product. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Merit and uh, the Flush Balm. And this is in the color uh, Cheeky. So I'm just going to, you can either put it on directly from there or you can get on it, do it with the brush. And I'm just going to put that, just place it 
back here. I'm not coming all the way up here. I'm just keeping it back here to here. And it just goes on beautifully. Look at that. See how it's just taking taking shape? So now I want just a touch more right there. All right. So I'm going to do the highlighter, which is, I've had this for a long time. This is Clinique's highlighter, and this is called the Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight. And it's a very, very pale pink, but it is a cream product as well. Very, very light. So I'm just going to go right on top of where I put that blush. You can kind of see that right there. And then I'm just going to blend that in with the same brush. So I'm using the same brush for the cream products. But look at that. Isn't that nice? Now I'm making sure not to get it in my wrinkles up there. Wrinkles highlighted are not pretty. Some people think they are, but you know. All right. So there is that. Now I can even go a little bit right here for the lips. When I, look. I can also go a little bit down here in my nose a little bit right there, a little bit highlight. All right, so now I'm going to Max Fix Plus again. So we're using basically this to set instead of the powder. So I'm going to let this sit for a second before we start on the eyes. But what I'll tell you what I'm going to do is really quick before we do that. Uh, I'm going to be using the Too Faced uh, Brow Whiz, Brow Wig, I'm sorry. Um, in medium brown and I've already have used the um, the the color corrector on the eyelids I'm going to be doing a very very simple rosy look with BK Beauty's true beauty y'all seen me use this before this is a wonderful palette um, ladies you need this if you don't have this. This is such a beautiful quality palette and the colors in it are fabulous and perfect for us mature woman. So I got the eyebrows on and like I said, I used the Too Faced Brow Wig and I didn't even use a pencil. I just brushed this through it. You know, I've been using my um, Revive Lash on my eyebrows as well too because it's both for eyelashes and eyebrows and I have to trim my brows every <laughs> every couple of weeks because they are I mean I've just brushed that stuff through them I have no pencil in there because it they're they're getting so thick but they're so blonde that you can't see them so they're done the eyeshadow and I just kind of want to take you through I've just done a very very light look and what I'm doing is I had I did an all over wash of this one here which is called beam then i went into the crease with kind vibes so this kind of a a dark rosy color here and then i went in with under the uh to tight line underneath my upper lashes with the estee lauder in um it's estee lauder double wear it's one of their iconic ones and I may have, oh yeah, Burgundy Suede, number 12. This has been around for a lot. It's a lot of people's favorite because it's not as bold and in your face as uh, a black or a dark brown is. But it's uh, it, the colors are, are gorgeous with this. And it's actually very similar to this sh sh shadow right here. But then what I did is um, 
I just lightly, and that was, I did this just on the, the tight line upper, and then I did into the bottom lash line, and then I used the, the rubber end of it to smudge it a little bit. And then I took a angled brush, which is right here. This happens to be a um, Japanese angled brush, and I just wetted it a little bit, and then I went into this burgundy color called Queen right here, and I kind of just lightly stamped it into the top lash line as well too. So now we are ready for the next, we're going to set all of this. So I just want to make sure that I'm not creasing anything because we haven't used any powder other than the eyeshadows. So, oh, and the lash, I already told you about the, the brows. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and do this again for a dewy set. All right. So while that is working and drying, I'm going to start on my eyelashes, which I'm going to use my current favorite mascara, which is this uh, L'Oreal's Telescopic Lift. All right, so this is the finished look. This is, uh, let's see, I already did the eyes. I told you I did the mascara. Uh, I used waterproof mascara on the bottom. I always use my little uh, Wet n Wild Megalink because it's got a small brush and it's waterproof because I have the leaky eye syndrome. Um, on the lips, I did, because I was going with the dewy rosy look, I did um, BK Beauty's lip liner, which these, I love the, I love how slanted they are and they make the liner go on so easy. This is in Pink Lady. And then the lipstick that I used is, um, let's see if I've got the Passion, I believe. Ah, I don't know where my glasses are. It's hard to read. So, um, I think it's called Passion. Or poison. <laughs> it's one of the other. I'll put it down below. And then on top of that, to go along with the dewy look and everything, I used the City Beauty uh, in the Nude Pink uh, lip gloss. Pink Nude, that's what it is. Yeah, Pink Nude. Just on top in the center. So this is my laminated look, or otherwise dewy look that I'm going to call it. Uh, as a mature woman. So thank you so much. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, please continue subscribe to, please consider subscribing. I appreciate it so much. So I'm going to get out of here. Remember ladies, what I tell you every single day, every single day to get up and show up because you are worth it. So until I see you in my next video, have a very safe and a very blessed day.